All right, guys. So in this video, what I wanted to show you is a typical uh, um, symptom of if you have an external camera on your Ferro and you don't uh, realize that you may need a calibration on it, you end up with stuff like this, where you see that the actual target was recognized off and it's significantly off. So when you turn off the color, you'll see that the actual data is correct. It's what it needs to actually be, but uh, turning on color then makes it look really ugly, right? Or uh, misaligned. Look at this here. We have another misalignment over there, misalignment over there. This, this misalignment is not something that you will be able to fix because of the fact that there's actual seams between the front and the back lens on the Ricoh Theta uh, Z1 camera. But needless to say, it's still, uh, I would, I'd wager to say, a couple of feet off in this case. So, uh, same thing happens in scan number two. I have these misalignments. Everything's been processed uh, regularly. I am actually doing a uh, scan. Um, what are they? Pano scans, pano cam scans here. I did use just a regular colorized scan option here. Um, so you see that everything's broken and you might be thinking, oh, what do I do? So you can actually fix this relatively easily by uh, either doing a calibration scan on, on the same job or just doing it afterwards. I actually did that afterwards. So I'm going to import a scan here from my SD card. Uh, panel scan, and that's the panel scan calibration uh, file that gets generated when you actually um, select your internal camera on the settings and there's a button at the bottom. And that scan can actually be used for scanning. It doesn't have to just be used for processing or just for calibration purposes. It actually has some valid information in it. So let me go here. Let me, you know what? Let's just do this intelligently. We'll create a new cluster, call it calibration. And we'll take this in here just because I don't want to have it associated with it because it has nothing to do with the actual external uh, scans that I am about to register here. So I'm going to go process, process this guy. We'll do colorize. Um, I'm just going to leave all of these default settings here because the goal here is uh, you are processing new offsets between the camera and the actual scanner. Those offsets will be recorded uh, onto your computer. And as long as you use that same computer with the same camera and scanner combination, then those calibration values that are about to be calculated over here will be applied to data that has already been processed. Too. So the data, the data that I already processed is uh, sitting in that one cluster that I had two scans in, misaligned as far as color is concerned. I'm about to generate a whole new um, calibration file, offset files, for the combination of my scanner and my external camera. And those values can then be used to reprocess the data that was already imported into the uh, software. So let's just wait for this to be finished. Shouldn't take that much longer. All right, well, it did take another two minutes maybe to actually process. I sped it up so that you don't have to uh, watch me. Uh, breathe here. All right, so the calibration has been done. You'll see that it's done inside. This had nothing to do with it's in my training classroom over here. Um, you can also see that when I turn off the actual color, my little checkerboard target that's on the wall will stay what it needs to be. So I mean, I know it's, it's already kind of pre-aligned properly. So there's no horizontal shift like what we saw outside. There's always slight shift in the actual uh, panel cam pictures, that's normal, so that's why if you don't want to have the shift, just use the internal camera. But um, let's do this. Let's go into reprocess these guys. So let's skip. So you saw I had scans that were misaligned before, so I, I guess I'll just uh, show it that it's still not working. So currently process data, everything's still off. So what I'll do is I'll do process. And we'll do this, we'll do colorize. We'll leave all of these settings be. I actually will turn off my filters because I've already run them and the identification of the targets is done. We'll hit start processing. And once again, I'll just uh, speed this process up here. 
Okay, that was relatively fast here. Let's go just look at the same scans that we saw before. And you see nothing has changed yet. And that's because we didn't actually reprocess the raw scans that we had in there. So, um, and this is where a uh, few people actually get this wrong, because you can see that the color and the actual point clouds are still misaligned from each other. Now the only way to actually fix it after you've done the calibration is literally actually getting rid of these scans. So I'm deleting them from the uh, cluster that I had them in and I'm going to re-import them and just do another uh, processing. Uh, let's just bring both of these guys. Okay, process these guys quickly colorize I won't do edge and we will identify targets there we go all right so now you'll see that the actual raw data processing will take place and you'll see that the, the misalignment between the images and the actual scan is not going to be there because of the fact that we ran the calibration after noticing that there was a problem so there's a there's a drawback in the sense of you can't just reprocess the scans that have already been processed incorrectly. You have to delete those scans and re-import them with the same settings that I guess initially we we'll noticed the actual problem with. But once you do that, then uh, it's possible to finally, you know, rectify and actually fix the problem that introduced that misalignment of the panel cam compared to the actual scans. go so everything processed so let's have a look at these scans now and there's your result so you saw previously we had everything misaligned uh, it was because I didn't run the actual calibration the calibration can be uh, run after data collection and you can actually fix your data this way so now it actually lines up. So when I turn off my color, they are in the same spot where they should be in the picture school. So misalignment of uh, panel cams and uh, the actual scanner can be done after the fact. Drawback is you'll have to reprocess your data and maybe rerun a registration. There's a way to actually not have to rerun the registration. It's a little bit complicated, but um, easiest is when you process your scan, look at them and see if you forgot something. And if you did forget a calibration scan, do the calibration scan and then reprocess after importing the raw data again. And this should fix your initial problem of the misalignment issue. All right. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below.